Hi guys, Nemo Dane here over at Silent Ox Studios. Uh, up and running on the new system and what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the new launcher. Uh, Coach Spartan has put us out a new type launcher that's going to be using uh, a different layout than what I originally covered in the first video. So we're going to go over that and get that set up now that we have the systems back up and running. Uh, I do have a server ready to test a complete server build. So I want to initialize this and have this running and going. Uh, one of the first things that we're going to do though is we're going to need a a, develop, a dedicated server. So we're going to have to do a, de a dedicated server build. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, you should, I think I covered this earlier in the video, but so that'll be the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get us uh, a development server build so that we can do a dedicated server. And I'm having trouble with Windows dragging. So let's go ahead and open our Visual Studio. I'm going to change this over to Development Server. And let's see. Just double check what he has wrote here. I've got too much going on. Yep, we're going to need a dedicated server is to run it on our uh, bare bones server. So we're going to open in Visual Studio, check on Development Server and then we're going to do a build. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started and when this build's done we'll be back. Alright, see you in a little bit. Alright, our development server build is done. I just wanted to mention this real quick. I've been, I read through this initially and in, as you can see right here we are going to need to know where we put this in our directory. Uh, your, your package game folder so just remember that when you start naming your uh, uh, folder hierarchy uh, I'm gonna go ahead and reduce this and so next thing we're going to do is we're going to go down inside the project and we're going to package it um, you could use whatever naming structure you want I've started um, a little structure like this this is where my package is going to go <laughs> that just sounds wrong <laughs> we're gonna package it up there and ship it over to there uh, whatever you want to do. I use these underbars because it puts it up front on top of all these so I can find it the quickest. Alright, so we're going to go down inside our work, or well actually I think I'm in the, oh that's the launcher. Uh, we're going to go down inside the work folder. Actually I'm just in the, uh, so I'm not in the work folder. Alright, so we're going to open this up. So we'll go ahead and launch that. And when, what we're going to do down here is we're going to package this up for uh, to upload on our server. So let's give that. See if this my new system is, should be loading a little faster. Come on, come on, Speedy. There we go. All right. So we want to go file package and project uh, package settings. So we're going to go to file package project package settings. All right, we're going to check full rebuild. Full rebuild is checked. Uh, just like I said, we're going to point to our directory here. All right, there we go. It said to make sure the use pack file is unchecked. Okay, that's unchecked. All right, we're going to go to file, package project. File, package project, and we're going to choose the platform. So we'll be going Windows 64. We've already chose our folder. Okay, and there we go. This is going to start our uh, packaging up. We're going to package up the game, and while that's doing that, I'll pause the video. All right, we got a build successful on that. That's always good to see. Uh, we're going to close that out. He said to go ahead and check the folder where you put it, the build in and make sure everything's there. So let's, I think i got another folder up here. Yep. And there's the Windows No Editor. And let's look down inside of there. All right. So get everything down there. All right, he says to go ahead and copy the server which is in the project folder, so we're going to go in the project folder, binaries, Win64, 
All right, there's the server exe. We're going to copy that. package game. So we're going to go inside the project name, binaries, win64, and replace. Alright, there's the server. Alright, so we can close that one down. I did bring the uh, uh, the chat uh, server up here. This is 1.5, the new release that uh, Code Spartan has just put out that works with 4.11. I just wanted to make sure that you knew that's what I was working with. All right, we're actually we, we can test it real quick. So we're going to open the chat window, run the chat server. When things get big. All right, so we now have the chat server is up. All right, uh, we're going to have to make shortcuts for these. So we're just going to create shortcuts real quick. Right click, create shortcuts. We're going to have to edit these to make them run locally. So for the client. We're just going to put at the end space dash local. Save that. Okay. For the server, we're going to want to run the um, the log with it so we can see the window. So we'll just edit that. Go to the end there. Space. I copied this over from the text, but basically uh, minus log and minus local. Uh, the log's going to let us see it at a window, and we're going to run it locally. All right. So let's run the server, and it should connect up. Allow it through the firewall. There we go. And as you can see, the chat server has picked it up. Chat server is, is, is now connected to the game server. So we know the chat server is now connected to the game server. Game server is up. Uh, it's using IP address. I'll need to probably blur that out. Okay, so that's good. And then we'll just check the client real quick. Launch it. I should still have information in the database. We should be able to lose. And we'll test that real quick. And there we go. Let's see if we can bring this down just a little bit. I think that's oh not about as there we go. All right, let's try another client. Let's see if we can run another client here. Uh, let's see. Actually, I think that guy is not in the database. Let's try this guy. Road. Stop that nonsense. Alright, so we got this client is in. I'll reduce this window. This client is in. And we have the server running. And you notice here that it updates the information about each one. Let's see, we should be able to see the other guy. There we go. Alright. So we can test this real quick. New guy has spoken and just yes. All right, there they go. All right, they're propagating on the chat server. Uh, the information about each client is propagating in the actual server, and we got two clients running. Looking good, looking good. So we know everything here that we've got going is good. Uh, the next thing we do, we're going to use, uh, we're going to package this up. We want to package it up to test the the new uh, patching system, and then I'm going to actually put it up on a server. All right, so that's move that out of the way. Um, let's close this up right here real quick. I'm going to pause this while I get all this closed up. Alright, be right back. Alright, we're back. Alright, what we're going to do is get we have to do the initial setup on this part here. Uh, this is the, uh, the new launcher. He wants us to go down in the upload folder and we're going to set up the INI file. Alright. So I brought the launcher to the desktop here to work with. Uh, I just grabbed that right out of the project. Let me just open this shutter. MMO kit. Go down to the MMO kit and you're going to see the launcher right there. 
So I just made a copy of mine here. I always keep a, like a copy. I spoke that earlier. So I brought out the copier. I brought out the chat, and we've already built the kit. All right. So we're going to go down inside the launcher, and he wants us to go down inside the uploader folder, and we're going to edit this right here, the settings, and you'll open that up. Uh, remember, I'm using Notepad plus plus. All right. The things that we want to do, we're going to the first one was, will be your packaged game folder. So this will point to our package game folder. And if you remember from just a few minutes ago, uh, we packaged up the uh, game loader. So there is the packaged game loader. I'll slide these over where you can see them. So this needs to point to that directory. On mine, it's the, a G drive. So I would simply change that to G drive. And he's saying my game. That's going to be for me. That's going to be under package. And then I'm going to change that Windows No Editor. We're going to rename it. Make sure you spell it correctly. I do this all the time. I make spelling errors. Okay. So that will be. Okay, spelling is good. So that's our packaged folder. Now we need a temporary folder. Um, I've already created one on the server. Let's see, where did I put it? I'm pretty sure I'm going to call it Launcher Temporary. So we're simply going to change that over to G Drive and Launcher Temporary. You can name whatever you want. This is, I'm just showing you for the example. All right, here's where we're going to put our FT address you would put your FTP address here after that you're going to need your login your password and a and a path on the uh, on the launcher uh, this path here is going to be up on a folder up on your FTP site uh, I'm not going to put in the address login and password uh, that's pretty much self-explanatory I think I have it open up here I'll go so what I did was go up on my this is FTP'd in my site, and I simply just made me another folder called Launcher. And this is going to be uh, where we're going to store some information that he wants, and I, I created this new folder. Uh, just a little side note, I had a little bit of trouble uh, finding my path on this. So what you can do is, I grabbed my PHP version from the PHP folder, so you can go back down into, just jump over where your MMO kit is, go into the PHP. You can actually grab that script because it's a great little test script. And what I did was, when I was looking for this directory, I if I got I got down in here further, for some reason I couldn't see it. So to find the path to it, I just simply went up here, and then I started looking for that script. And as you can see right there, and that just shows me that that path is good because we're going to be uploading some information. And so you can use that uh, PHP script to load in your directories to make sure your paths work and you and how you found your paths. All right, I'll clear that out. All right, now we need to upload the contents contents of the deployer. So let's go back to the launcher. All right, here's the deployer. It's down inside the launcher. And you need to upload these contents to your FTP folder that you just made. I named mine Launcher uh, after his example. So we need to get all this uploaded to that site. And then once that's up there, we're going to actually log into uh, the database. So we'd pull up a new window, go back to our um, launcher. Uh, this one will be launching index.php and what that's going to do is it's going to log you in. Now um, if you look for his example just to show you real quick the one by default is using password 123456 and admin this is what the screen you should get when you enter your index.php this should pop up and you should see admin and password filled in for you. Um, I have Chrome and it remembers some passwords so it was, had kind of screwed that up on the previous admin but that's the information you need but you'll want to go ahead and change your password real quickly so we you would log in change the password 
and then you would be good to go. After you've changed the password, we're going to open the launcher and the launcher settings any in the file path. All right, so we need to, now that that's done, we need to go back to the launcher. So I'm going to reduce this down. So you go to the launcher any. Let me show you where that is first. Open the launcher and the and there's the launcher. We're back inside the launcher. You would go down into the launcher and we're looking for the launcher settings right there. And then you just open this up in Notepad. Once inside there, you would put your HT, uh, HTTP address. There's mine. To remember, we just we just found that out. Actually, I closed it out. You could actually have copied it from there. You could have just copied it from there. And that points to the launcher. And then remember uh, the game path for me was where we uh, uh, put the project folder. So let's go back to the project folder. I'm sorry, the package folder. Not the project folder. So off of this, this would be in, in the package. It would be Soul Binders Online, which I need to change that name again to. All right, we're looking for the EXE path, which is Soul Binders Online. Remember, I changed that, uh, and then down inside of here, that should show. Yep, that shows up. See, there's the EXE. All right. Once that's any has been edited, we're going to save that up. Oh, all right. I've run over uh, the 15 minutes here. Uh, we're going to wrap it up here, and we'll pick up the rest in the next video. All right. See you in a little bit.